Hey there, it's Eileen. It's a bit later than normal. Today is Tuesday, um, 1st of September, right? Gonna shuffle cards and uh, just me, Mini Marseille here, and uh, pull a card just to, you know, because I can't let it go. Um, have you ever noticed some people? Um, they just don't give you the information you need to do what they want. They only give you like parts of it and sides of it or hint at things and then expect you to fill in the blanks yourself. And of course that doesn't really work very well. Our next door neighbor uh, has a, oh wow there's my card I don't mind having an ace of pentacles at all anytime uh, I had a six of pentacles and an eight of pentacles this morning to deal with my things I have been working quite hard to learn more uh, from the actual uh, events that happened there weren't that many events we just had to trim our tree in our backyard uh, quite a bit more than we were expecting um, it needed uh, doing because finally you know after a lot of back and forth between four people five if I count her husband who wasn't really part uh, of the se session today um, we managed to make things even more confusing and less clear and than than uh, you know <laughs> if you have only two people, you tend to manage more or less to figure out what it is that they want, really. It turns out that the problem wasn't even necessarily the tree or the leaves or the bits falling out of the tree. It was the pigeons. Probably. The, the pigeons were what caused her to be so frustrated and angry with us, basically. That when she gets angry in that manner, she... Uh, triggers my uh, mother memories, you know, in a way that I just can't overcome. And I've sat upstairs, you know, after the thing, the discussion went more or less well enough for me to leave the guys to it and um, let them do the thing, take off as many branches as possible. Everything's in the backyard now. We will have to get rid of all that stuff. And I hope to her... This will be, yeah, more or less sufficient. It's weird because at least the, the, the pigeons won't be feeling very comfortable to be nestling in whatever's left of those bare branches over there because it isn't even on that side uh, much of a tree anymore. But she'd never really, she had occasionally, I wonder now if she've ever if she's ever mentioned the pigeons to us at all. But the pigeon shit is on my chairs and underneath the trees as well. If ever I leave them out there for a month or so and I don't do anything about it, there's pigeon do that all over my uh, my chairs. I haven't uh, cared that much. I just take a bucket of uh, hot water and soap to it and I uh, scrub the chairs because it's just plastic. She's got a more expensive chair sitting out there. I'm not even interested in the tree or her or the pigeons or any of it. I was just trying to investigate, again, the mechanism of the trigger, which has basically to do with, I provide you with this much information about what I want you to do right away. And actually, I don't even want to have to tell you. The problem is about the telling it isn't about the thing that's happening at all. It is having to speak, having to tell us how much of an inferiority. I don't know where this comes from. I've never had this myself. I am, I am easy with words, as you may have noticed. I do most of the talking in the household, but then, you know, females chatter easily. I have a bit of... Jewish blood, I am told that, uh, back in the day anyway, I used to be told that 
that's why I have really flexible, you know, phonetic <laughs> apparatus of all sorts. Um, so I have a really hard time understanding that um, having to speak, having to... I don't know what I want most of the time. And with them, or those people like my mother and my neighbor, it isn't not necessarily about them not knowing what they want. They know what they want, all right. It's just that it is almost impossible for them to tell it to other people because of trauma, I am supposing. And so they get all, you know, high horsey and uh, dominant and impossible. And it's like, today was better than the last time we had the same kind of an episode. It was better. Also because the men took care of a lot of the stuff. My husband wasn't being antagonistic. Yay for him. Because that only makes things ten times worse. In this type of a situation, you do not want somebody to be antagonized even more. Because she will just make her own bunker, you know? It makes it impossible. How is it even possible for humans to be alive after all this time? I wonder. Shall we pull another card? Okay, I am being told, sort of, that these cards... I have this feeling always that some cards are hotter or lighter, brighter in my hands. I register some cards as being lighter than others and warmer. Do you feel that way? <laughs> or you just go, you know? It's possible. So of these three, these two are important, this one isn't. So I get a Queen of Wands and a Six of Cups. I don't do right away. I have to do this uh, in my old school manner, which I will just share with you here as I sit here. And you have something to upload for today, you know? It's almost 10 o'clock, I think. Yes, half past nine. And I um, look up my these cards in here, in the uh, Kabbalistico Tarot, which has the astrological assignations for assignations, correspondences, whatever you want to call those, for the self-same cards, and then I see what I get. And sometimes that actually provides me. I had um, three times in a row the star card uh, during the weekend and afterwards. What with my um, recent discoveries in terms of... That's a swords queen in terms of, uh, you know, generally being unhappy myself and feeling like nobody was uh, being a part of my life, really. As I sit here, I swear I am discovering more and more that's the Queen of Wands. Of course, she's just a water-in-fire element. Looks like this. Those triangles right there, see? Water-in-fire. As I sit here, I discover more and more that I am rather a bit more of a traumatized person than I uh, had really gotten figured out myself. And um, it's small wonder that I don't belong on the job anymore. I can't, I can't really do this thing where I work with people. Uh, sometimes I think it'd be nice, but um, here's the Six of Cups. And it is a sun in Scorpio that's happening in the Six of Cups, right there. And we have a six position in the Tree of Life, right there in the middle. You see where there's the little corner nicked out of the circle, right there? See that? Um, the middle um, circle in here. It's slightly lower down. Actually, these lower circles tend to be associated with, uh, from the bottom upwards, the, the body or the feet. 
then the second one the belly and the third one the heart so sixes in tarot will always be about the heart in some manner or form so if you would to look up if you were to look up the other sixes in here i so happen to have a six of swords here is that right yes and i get a mercury in aquarius so it is an air uh, side of that same heart. So all the four elements are in each of the angles of the of the body of the tree of life, in in a way of speaking, if you want to see it that way. The tree of life isn't only about the body. It has to do with levels of manifestation. And it turns out that I was reading before my holidays about... Um, the so in in the Zohar, you know that I've uh, managed to obtain the text from, that there are actually many, many, many more circles to the Tree of Life, and this is just a summary, this whole uh, setup that we all know and love, you know. So I get the water side of the heart, which we would tend to normally uh, associate with. Uh, I find that kind of a helpful thought because normally you associate the heart with emotion and water element anyway. But it looks like it turns out that the Tiferet, the heart uh, area in the Tree of Life, has all four elements in it. So also the earth and the air and um, the fire and the water. So I suppose that basically what the cards are telling me now is that having done my individuation or my attempt at coming back to myself, first of all, coming back to myself, and then realizing that I'm a different individual from all those people and that I'm here talking to you about how people have a hard time expressing what they want, in a sense where if I want to, maybe I overdo it every single day, that's quite likely, but I tend to just sit here and say the same thing until I am fairly confident that what I have to say comes across. I don't mind using about 20,000 extra words because I don't have to pay for the words. I can just, you know, sling out the words. For those people like my mother and my neighbor, it doesn't work that way find it so hard to understand but I have to let it go I think I have to even forgive did you see forgiveness in this card where's my card where's the other one uh, because I forgot all about the um, the association now Oh, please, I am getting to be so sleepy and so tired. And I stuck the silly Six of Cups card just back in here without paying attention. Scorpio. Did I say Sun in Scorpio? I think so. Sun in Scorpio. Yeah, that's why I don't remember it, because I couldn't really place. But Sun in Scorpio, Scorpio is where I have my south node. It's where my past lives are. Hmm. And um, in all, it is what you always have to let go. Whether your south node is there or elsewhere, you always have to uh, move on, I suppose. And it's possible nowadays, because I'm less scared than I used to be. I'm still scared, but I can handle it much better and have way more energy to deal with things and to continue trying to think, trying to understand, trying to figure it all out. If you're still here, good night. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I uh, think I kept it down to 15 minutes or so. Thank you for being here, you guys. Love you to pieces. Okay, see you next time. Ciao.